Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Week two of footies is here today in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. We have this loading screen and we are pretty sure that it is going to be a Brazilian based week of special cards inside of footies, SBCs, and objectives. We're going to take a look at the leaks today. We're going to take a look at the SBCs and objectives that I think might drop on the game today, as well as what this loading screen means for what cards are going to be coming into packs. Batch one is leaving packs. Batch two is coming in, including, it looks like, a decent amount of team of the season cards. There's also some pack code that we have to look at today, even furthering the point that suggests it's going to be a Brazil-focused week of footies cards and maybe how that one nation friendly might come into play this week with an objective cup game mode with the Premier League Cup ending. We're kind of think thinking that there would be another one coming next. And also we have to take a look at the market and what to expect on today's game with, again, batch one cards leading packs, but a lot of new team of the season cards in batch two coming in to packs. So we're going to take a look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for Footies Week 2, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Now let's start from the top with cards that we expect to drop today because this is now almost confirmed to be a full, not full, but like mostly Brazilian based second weeks of footies. Think about what we talked about in yesterday's video. We have the objective cards that we are expecting to see today. Th these have been leaked for the past couple of days. I expect both of them to drop today just like we had Mounts and Reese James last Friday. I think we're getting these two today. Renan Lodi and Mateus Cunha, both Atletico Madrid, both Brazilian, and they will be the premium footies items according to the leak. That means they will get green links to any La Liga card, and they will have those nice links on them, just like Luis Diaz, Mason Mount, Kai Havertz, all those guys did in this last week of footies. So that's hype, right? We're expecting that. that those will probably be our objective cards today. Now, what we also expect today is the number one winner of that vote that we had on Wednesday, a five-star skill boost for either Pato or Rafinha. Now, these are the two guys that have won the vote from Wednesday. Now, we don't know who is like the first winner and who is the second winner because the first winner last week was Luis Diaz. His SBC came out on Friday. Either Pato or Rafinha is going to drop today. Whoever, whoever does is going to have five-star skills. Now, there's a little bit of a question with this Rafinha card, and we've been talking about it a bit on the stream. Because Rafinha is technically in this game right now. I just packed him yesterday. His card impacts is a Real Sociedad player. His first card he had this year was PSG, and the card that we voted on was PSG. We all, basically 99% of people in the game today, want this Rafinha, if it drops, to be a PSG card because that's what was advertised in the voting. I'm a little bit worried that it could be Real Sociedad, though, because that is his card in packs. Even though technically in real life, he is back at PSG off of his loan from Real Sociedad. I don't know what's going to happen today, and if Rafinha is the guy who is the number one winner, then I think there could be some disappointment here. But... Just keep an eye out for whoever wins today. Regardless, we're going to get both of these cards at some point in the next basically three to four days on FIFA, and they will get a really nice premium footies item upgrade with five-star skills. So whether it's Pato or Rafinha today, I do expect one of these cards to drop. And again, what do you notice? All of these cards so far have been Brazilian that we are talking about. Now, we're going to actually go a little bit forward here and talk about some pack code because this even furthers the Brazilian agenda because we have three new packs added to the code. Common gold three player pack, cool. Brazil starter pack and a Brazil foundations pack. One thing we know this year on promo Fridays is that when we have a foundation pack added to the code the day or two days before, this usually means there's going to be a found, this foundations pack is going to be in the store. We've seen a lot of these packs with like summer swaps and with the swaps programs earlier on this year. This pack right here says, take your Samba squad to the next level in the Footies Brazil Cup. This literally is telling us that we are going to have a Footies Brazil Cup. Get your Brazilian squads ready, is what this is telling me. Um, with the Brazil Foundations pack, contains three Brazilian players, ra players rated 85 or above, plus one Brazilian Icon Moments player pick for three games. All content is untradeable. Now, this is really interesting because if you think about it, what is the player that's on the loading screen of this game right now that is basically leaked by EA or teased by EA to come into packs today? There is a left winger by the name of Vinny Jr. all the way over there 
on the loading screen, he would be in packs today. And there are only, I believe somebody did the math, there's like 8 to 10 Brazilian cards that are 85 plus in this game that could be packed. So that pack right there could have an insanely high pack weight for some of your really, really good Brazilian cards. If I'm thinking some other Brazilian Tots cards that could be in packs today, if they release most of these cards, you're looking at, of course, Vinny Jr. You're looking at the Oscar Rest of the World Tots card. You are looking at the uh, Adair Militao. Let's even scroll through some of these Brazilian Team of the Season items, right? We're just going off the fact that we know Team of the Seasons, most of them should be in packs today. And we're going off the fact that that card is going to give you 85 plus Brazilians, Bremer, Anthony, Lucas Paqueta, Fred, Romarinho. I think I, I mentioned Talishka. He could be in here. Marquinhos could be in here. Like there's a lot of really good cards that could be involved from this pack. And I think it means that all of these team of the seasons, if they are released in packs, I'm not saying that every single Brazilian tots card is going to get re-released in packs today. I'm saying that probably a decent amount of them will just because when they read with these tots cards, they're probably going to go all out with it. And we had a hundred cards in this last batch. So I would imagine that most of these cards would be in that pack in the store. I think a lot of people would be very interested to try it, especially at this stage of the game. If EA didn't make it that expensive, uh, FIFA points wise, and we all needed Brazil teams anyway, you know, that would be a very interesting pack as a foundations pack in the store. So that's kind of what I'm thinking and seeing from this pack code right here. And just to go over it again, basically this confirms the footies Brazil cup is going to be coming today. I hope it is a first two goal mode or whatever it's going to be. I think this last week people were like, man, the footies Premier League cup was so sweaty. So that's something to kind of watch out for. Um, and th this also, there's a small chance that it might not be in the store, but this to me looks like, Hey, EA is going to try to say, Hey, we're going to put a bunch of tots cards in packs and then try to get you to go open packs to try to get insanely high level Brazilian since there's like technically not that many except TOTS cards in packs. So that's going to be an interesting gamble on the game. And then the Brazil starter pack uh, contains eight Brazilian players rated 75 plus. I don't know if this is going to be in the store either, but just watch out for these two packs today because it feels like they're going to be pushing the Brazil links. And that's why even if we take, as we take a look at the market here in a little bit, you're really going to want to keep an eye on Brazilian cards today, because I think there is going to be a decent amount of demand. Now, the last thing talking about the last two cards that we could see in packs today, remember last Friday we had, or not in packs, SBC, sorry. Last Friday, we had the DePaul and the Mbabu. Now we have a Chiesa uh, that is leaked and we have a Tiago Jalo. I don't know which of these would come today, but I think one of the two, um, unless one of these is an objective and not a SBC, um, I think one of these two would be dropping today on Friday. Remember last Friday, we had a bunch of new players and a bunch of SBCs. I think that is going to be how it looks today on this game as well. Now, let's talk more about batch two and the market. As I mentioned, we're expecting a lot of team of the season cards back in packs today. As that loading screen said, we have Vinny Jr. coming back into packs 100% since he was teased on the loading screen. And we also have Benzema because he was also shown on the loading screen being a 98 rated striker team of the season. The other card on the loading screen was a hero captain's item of Abedi Pele. And what that means to me is there's going to be hero captains and regular foot captains in packs. And since we're thinking about a lot of Brazilians right now in this game, I would imagine that this Marcelo foot captains card would be released back in packs today. So what I'm going to tell you guys is watch the market on the captains cards and on the team of the seasons. A lot of team of the seasons are very, very inflated still. If you have any Tots cards tradable in your club, I would recommend selling them because still a lot of them, I mean, they're even down right now. As you can see, 55K for a Tots card is down from where this used to be. And I think these prices are dropping because people are expecting these cards to get supplied today on Friday being re-released back into packs. Yeah, 47K, these prices are absolutely down. I think some of these could go even lower. If you think a lot, like right now, the cheapest 91 rated card on the game. Let's see. The cheapest 91 rated card on the game is under 40,000 coins. And a lot of these team of the seasons that are 90, 91K are still about 50,000 coins or right around that range. They're still inflated. I think those are going to drop today with pack supply. EA is still going to run lightning rounds. They're going to supply these cards tradable on the market. People have saved up packs, all sorts of stuff today. The high tier market, especially because team of the seasons will be back in packs, is probably going to drop off a bit. Probably your 88s to your 92, 93s. 
I would expect to see this part of the market to slide down in price just a little bit as those team of the seasons come back into packs and supply high rated fodder down a little bit. Um, now, speaking of more cards that are going to be back in packs, right? No shapeshifters, right? We would know if there were going to be shapeshifters, they would be on the loading screen. It's just going to be a batch of TOTS cards and foot captains. And probably included in that is still going to be some team of the weeks, still going to be some, you know, a couple fa foot fantasy cards, a couple foot birthdays. It's going to be cards including a lot of captains, a lot of TOTS cards, and then a couple other ones th thrown in from earlier promos throughout the year. It's probably just going to be like this last week of batch number one, where we had 100 cards in packs. I would imagine that batch two is going to be right around that same size. And hopefully EA Sports throw in a lot of our really good TOTS cards. TOTS and Bappe, TOTS Neymar would be an incredible card. I mean, think about opening that foundations pack and having an opportunity of, I mean, a very slight opportunity, but just a chance at packing the Tots Neymar card from that Brazil foundations pack. So that's the kind of, I think, uh, hype that EA is going to create today with that foundations pack in the store. So, you know, that's going to be very fun and interesting to see. But today, it's no secret, is definitely a Brazilian based vibe on this game. Now, as I'm talking about cards from batch number one, these cards going out of packs, some people are looking at guys like Coutinho, guys like Neymar, or maybe Danny Alves and saying, yo, Nate, should we be buying any of these Brazilian cards or any of these cards from batch number one that are going out of packs? Now, here's my opinion. These cards have been supplied a lot in the past few days. Neymar, you know, he's actually already started to go up 505,000 coins. That's up like 20K from where he was. I do think that a few of these cards have potential to rise because of all the Brazilian hype. And that's what I would say is watch your Brazilians. This Coutinho, 360K, he has started to rise already on the market. Lucas Moura was a card that I was watching. I believe he is already starting to rise on the market a little bit. 142K, yeah, he is up some. So people are already starting to buy some of these Brazilian cards. I would say that if it's a card, especially, I don't know, there's not too many of these, but if there are any shapeshifter Brazilians, besides Marcelo, because he's really expensive, but any shapeshifter Brazilians that you maybe would want to go out and get for your team or whatever, or, or a past promo card. Let's see, is there any other Brazilian that's a shapeshifter? Um, we've got the Marcelo, of course. I'm taking a quick scroll through here. The shapeshifter teams, just because I didn't look at this before I started talking about it. Marcelo, I think, might be one of the only ones. I don't know if any of the mini releases had any Brazilians in them. Felipe, 56K. Actually, is he going up already? I bet this guy's already going up. He was 47K on Monday. And I think the leaks of Ren and Lodi and him and those guys started to make him go up. But, you know, he might even go a little bit higher today. Is you know, not that great of a card, but a cheaper one that people might want to use that is kind of within the power curve right now in this game. Uh, any more Brazilians in here? No. Okay, so, you know, watch your Brazilian cards that are out of packs. Yes, I would say that that could include some of your TOTS cards. If any Brazilian that is not, uh, that is a team of the season card that does not get re-released today in packs, let's say like for some reason Talisca or Romarinho TOTS card does not get re-released in packs today, they might go up a little bit extra on the market. So those would be the cards that I would watch today. I think they are invested in, so I would be very careful with some of these cards. And I've been watching a lot of their prices from you know the past day on this game. I would be very, very careful with these cards because, again, like I said, I feel like there is some investing going on here. And they were just packed so much in this past week during batch one of footies that uh, they have a lot more supply if you're looking at cards that were in batch one. So I'd be very, very careful with that. Other cards from batch one, people may be like, Nate, is Alan St. Maximin going to rise up today? Is Usman Dembele going to rise up as they go out of packs? I think there's a little bit of potential for the really, really rare cards that have dropped off a lot to rise back, you know, Usman Dembele being less than a million coins. I believe he was like nine, you know, he's probably going to hit like 950 again today. I think there could be a potential bounce back on a card like this as well. That's going to be very interesting to watch. It's just all going to be about your Brazilian teams. That's really what today is going to be about. And I would start creating that team, get a, get ahead of the curve here. In my main team, I already have a few Brazilians in here. I've got Militao and I have um, Marcelo, of course. But like, take a look in your club and sort by Brazil and say, okay, I got to get my squad ready and plan it out. Garincha, Rodrigo, Paqueta, you know, Richarlison, Lucas Mora, Emerson. Like, I think I'm sorted here. Danny Alves, Sandro, Neymar. Yeah, like I'm pretty sorted, maybe apart from a midfielder or two, uh, ready for a Brazil Cup. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, if it's the right requirements in the right game mode, a lot of people will be looking into that today and saying, hey, 
there could be a lot of fun potentially with this. So we've looked at the SBC potential for today. We've looked at the objectives. We have looked at the market and kind of what to expect there. Um, one thing I want to talk about as well is a couple things that EA are fixing, right? There's been a lot of issues in the past week. Now we do have one issue that is fixed right now. 85 plus rated rare players. I'll just open one right now for the video because why not? If we get a special, we'll be happy. We do. We get a inform. It is going to be Ginter. All right. 87 rated. Not bad. Uh, EA finally gifted out the free 85 plus packs from last week. Um, and that was very nice, but that is just like the first of their issues that they are still working through and giving us some, um, compensation back for a big walk out here. German again, center mid Tony Cruz. Nice. We'll take the fodder. So I'll take that, send it to the club or I will lead that in my own side. Just kidding. But a couple areas of that I want to watch today of potential issues right now, you might be watching this video and like, Nate, I can't play foot champs when normally I can on an early Friday. Foot champs is starting at the weird time that it did during team of the season. As you can see, champs finals does not start from when I'm recording this for another 16 hours, which goes kind of actually co computes down to two hours after the content drop on FIFA today on Friday, which is the old team of the season schedule. Uh, but EA told us nothing about this change and we were not expecting this change last week Foot champs was the same schedule as usual So I don't know if this is going to change or if EA is going to keep this the way that it is But foot champs is delayed again and starting later today on Friday So that's just kind of a weird thing Don't really have any idea why that is happening and also today the 82 plus player pick does not expire until Saturday it is going to be available for a whole another day. So today when you're opening packs, you are going to be able to go into the SVC section and rinse your rares and non-rare golds into an 82 plus player pick on a promo Friday, which is almost unheard of. Like today I'm thinking about stacking up some of these 82 plus player picks and, you know, opening them before content, maybe opening some of them after content with the new batch of cards and packs. But like, you know, as, as of right now, also, I'm like, okay, maybe I don't need to do that because EA is going to be like those, those packs are going to be available after 6 PM as well. So that's kind of a crazy situation. And, uh, that that's kind of a weird thing to have to think about. Usually upgrade packs always expire on Friday when new cards come out. But I think since it's a re-release of old special cards that have been released in previous promos, EA is like, Hey, have at it. Open some upgrade packs open some player picks, which is dope. So, you know, I guess have fun with these today. We're going to be opening 82 plus player picks. Now I'll be really curious to see as well, if they drop any of these SBCs, we had the footies player pick. I would imagine they would drop this again for batch two. So watch out with some of your mid to higher tier fodder, maybe your 84s, 85s, 86s. Last week, it went up a lot on Friday. You know, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with the rest of the fodder market today, because if we get a one of three footies batch two, or maybe like I, I could they do a Brazil campaign bag player pick? I doubt it. There's probably not enough Brazil players for them to do that. But just speaking about fodder here for a second, 84s are back down near the 5,000 coin range. If fodder were to dip, like if 84s were go going down into like the mid 4k range, I would honestly say that if you see any of those prices today on Friday, whether it's early before the content drop or late, I think that is a buy scenario for me because today on Friday will probably be the only day that we get lightning rounds during this next week of footies. Last week, we didn't have lightning rounds on any day except for Tuesday. Now that could also, or sorry, not Tuesday, Friday. That could always change. But as of right now, I, I don't know how that it would. I think EA doesn't like to run a lot of lightning rounds for cards that have already been released in packs, except for on the promo Friday. So keep, keep a close eye out on your fodder cards if they were to drop today, because again, there could be a lot more demand for a player pick SBC if they were to drop another one of those for the Brazilian hype today on the game. Guys, there's going to be a lot going on in the game today, and it is not going to be a dead Friday on FIFA whatsoever. It's going to be a fun day. Make sure if you're doing your last minute uh, swaps, get those turned in because Monday is the last day we're going to be able to collect those. And if you're trying to pack anybody in footies batch one, today is your last day. This morning on Friday is your last time to do that as well. And if you have tots cards in your club, I would say this, think about last week. Um, you know, I think that a lot of tots cards that are going to get back in packs today, anything released in packs, we've been talking about it, right? Cancelo, Militao, these tots cards that are, you know, pretty, not for certain, but 
you know, have a very, very good chance of being re-released in packs today, I would be selling them because even if Militao has a lot of demand today for potential Brazilian links, you know, I, I think that the supply would end up being greater than the demand, although he is one of the best Brazilian center backs in the game. This is like, this is treacherous waters right here. This is treacherous waters because he's going to be back in packs, which means supply. You usually don't want to mess supply, mess with supply on this game. So that's going to be very interesting to see. And it's just going to be a crazy Friday because of those packs that we have in the code, the SBC, there could be some fiasco at that today. If Rafinha is dropped and he's not PSG, or if he is PSG, it's going to be a wild Friday. And we're going to cover it all live on Twitch down below. Link is down below in the description. Check it out. There'll be live streaming and having a blast as footies batch number two and the second week starts on this game with a Brazil themed uh, week of content it looks so it's gonna be a really fun week and if you're excited hit the thumbs up on this video comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it has been nate the account and i'll catch you guys later peace